Hi, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your September 15th to the 30th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. <laughs> so let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of, Cancer. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. This is the Six of Swords. Okay, so it's almost like somebody wants us to go in one direction, but everything we've learned, everything that we're seeing wants us to go in another, and we're, we're kind of fighting that right now. We're very much thinking, you know, who's right, who's wrong, where should I go, how should I move things forward? There's a lot of questioning that's, that's coming towards us during this time. There's also a lot of gathering of information you don't have all the facts yet and that's going to be something that needs to be acknowledged because we either want to say oh I'm right right now or this person is right right now and now we're going to make a decision spirit is saying hold on a little bit because you don't have all the information yet or the other person doesn't have all the information yet sit on it for a little bit and then make the decision okay come back to it in a count of six six days six weeks you know talk about it six times or with six people that's going to help you get to where you need to be. Let's look at what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, angels. Yeah, we're learning so much during this time. Okay, if we're born on the cusp with Leo, or we have a lot of Leo in our chart or just Leo in our chart, that part of our personality is coming out very profoundly during this time. So we might find ourselves maybe being a little bit more kind of stepping forward or, or feeling a little bit more in the, wanting to be in the center of everything than we're used to. And that's just because our Leo is coming out or Leo is coming out in our personality just very profoundly during this time. There can also be a Leo in our life that's really making themselves known, really wanting to take center stage or demanding a lot of our attention. Now we're crowned with the page of pentacles. We are going to be learning something new. There is something that is entering into our rep repertoire of thought that is going to help to make us money. So this is going to be a time where new ideas are coming our way, new insights. This is why Spirit's saying, you know, don't act on things as quickly as maybe we would think is necessary. Because a lot more new ideas, new, new paths are going to be opening up to us. There is also a sense that there can be an earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a, Cap a Capricorn, or somebody who's very grounded. They could have a lot of this in their chart, or it could just come through in their personality. They're very grounded, but they're very grounded in a very different way. They kind of go to the beat of their own drum. That's why you like them, all right? But there's going to be this sense of, oh, they're giving me a new idea, or oh, they're helping me see 
something that I hadn't seen before. This is adding to the wealth. This is adding to the prosperity. This is adding to my bounty. Now you're coming through as the student here and there's something that you have given up on. There's something that you said, oh no, this couldn't be, when pigs fly, you know, I'll get to have what I longed for when I was younger. This is actually coming. And this is going to be something that makes you excited. It's going to be something that calls your heart. There is, is a sense here of, of beauty and prosperity. There's a sense of, I didn't think this was possible for me, or I didn't think I was going to be able to have this. And it really starts opening up our doors and really opening and opening us up to what we love. That spark, that fire that we thought was gone, it's coming back. And that's going to be something that gives us the strength. We are also going to find that how we are strong, Cancer, and that is strong through the heart, that is strong through our compassion, that is strong through our ability to listen. That's what sets us apart. We had once thought that that was a weakness, or we had thought that it had to be trained in a certain way. We didn't realize that our strength and our beauty comes through just beautifully, openly, honestly, being ourselves. And so this is going to be leading us forward in a way that we didn't think was possible right now. We're going to see ourselves opening up to being more confident, being more self-assured. This is a time where we embrace our voice more. We're going to be speaking out more. There is also something that has happened and it had to do with our work. It had to do with kind of like the responsibilities that we took on. Something knocked us down. Someone knocked us down and made us think we were doing it wrong. We weren't. We just weren't doing it the way that they wanted to. And they wanted to keep control over the situations. Now, what we're opening ourselves up to is a lot of love and nurturing. Now, it doesn't have to be the, you know, pregnant, giving birth type of love and nurturing. We are giving birth to a lot of new ideas, a lot of new passions. This is a time where a lot of things within us are coming to the forefront, are, are wanting to be seen, are wanting to move our world in a direction we didn't think it was going to be moving in. So we're surprised, but pleasantly surprised. There's also a sense of being very compassionate, very nurturing, very, it's maternal. It's very maternal energy. And again, it doesn't mean that you have to be a mother or a parent or, you know, that to anybody. It means that the energy that you're bringing forward is very caring, very nurturing, and very powerful. That's where your strength lies. You had thought this was a weakness. You hadn't seen yourself as strong, but that's because your strength isn't necessarily wrapped up in that warrior, conquer the world, make everybody bow down to me strength. It comes from being able to listen. It comes from being able to connect. It comes from being able to like read between the lines of what people are saying. This is going to be the time that, that works really well for you. People feel seen around you. And that is extraordinary. Take advantage of that. Okay. New business opportunities opening up new ways of, of making money, adding to your finances, helping yourself move forward. What you have given up on is going to start to build itself in your life. It's going to start to move you forward. You, you almost walked away from it. Now it's the time where you're like, oh, wow, I'm so glad I didn't. So let's see subconsciously what we need to be mindful of. It's the sun. Okay. So the sun can literally be a son or a child that is always the golden child, always the one who does everything right. Be mindful that person needs a little bit more attention during this time. Just a little bit of coddling, a little bit of baby <laughs> wouldn't hurt anybody. Definitely this person might not say that they appreciate it, you know, especially if they're a teenager or just somebody who's a little bit gruff around the edges, but they do appreciate it. They just need a little bit more cuddles, you know, <laughs> during this time. And that's going to be a very good thing. And even if this is, you know, a pet, you know, this is a person who just, this is, they, they just need a little bit more attention, even if they, they make themselves, you know, appear that they don't. There's also a sense of within you, you think you just have to shine. You just have to embrace your strengths and, and just keep on smiling through things. You need to pay yourself a little bit more attention. You need to take care of that inner child within you and the fears and the negativities and the doubts that you have had. Because even though you've grown, you still need to acknowledge it. You still need to acknowledge that sometimes we are a bit sensitive and sometimes life is a bit hard and sometimes things are a bit, a bit much. Acknowledging that helps us to move to the next level, to the next place, because we're acknowledging ourselves. 
our subconscious tarot message is the magician. There's a bit of magic to us. There's innate talent. We're not going to be able to define it. We're not going to be able to pinpoint it. And we're not meant to. This is a time when we say, this is what I love. You know, this is what I'm good at. Let yourself shine. Let yourself shine without having to know why or having to dig deeper into everything. Just let yourself shine. Let yourself be. There's a magic to you. There's a brilliance to you. There's a, there's a spark to you. Where you might sit there and be like, oh, but it's, it's not like everybody else's or it's not conforming. This is not the time to conform. This is the time to simply be. Because there's, there's a wonderment to you. There's an innocence to you. There's, there's a beauty to you that is refreshing and that is, is really quite, quite serene. So embrace it. All right. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I'm sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer, and may blessings always be with you.